coming in, people. Come on, where are you guys at? They are so happy. <laughs> oh, well, guys, I come out to give you guys an update of what happened today. Oh my God, y'all. I, I was so like done that I said, let me just get out of here because I don't want to hear no more crap. I don't want to hear no more what this guy got to say. Because, oh. Uh, you know, somebody just frustrated you because all the lies, all the lies, and then they caught in lies, and then they try to make you thinking like, okay, I didn't say that, but I did say that, and it was crazy. It got, it got too so crazy that um, that uh, Bo asked him, "Are you hard of hearing?" <laughs> then he says, "Then he got, I think he says said smart remark to Bo about." You, do you know how to read? It was like referee match. Um, Jennifer had not uh, uh, cross-examined him yet. And the person that's up now is Freeman, um, Chuck Freeman. He told so many s different lies under oath. I'm talking about with the first grand jury in 2000, the Cook County's grand jury, the, um, the grand jury for the federal government grand jury, and then even as of yesterday, he told so many different uh, um, account of what occurred with the, the whole VCR tape thing. Um, I, I I know if the if the uh, uh, the news are not showing exactly what's happening. Find a spot that um, yesterday he said that he met with um, Darren McDavid and Jack Palladino. Um, and they told him that they wanted him to recover a tape, right? So Bo turned around and um, read back to him some of the stuff that he had said in originally, right? Originally, he said that he talked to Lisa Van Allen on the phone, and Lisa's the one who told them that he gave, she gave the tape to someone else, somebody, some guy out of uh, the land. So out of uh, the land. So the lies kept going on and on and on. Then. It's just everything he was saying, he he lied. I mean, Bo was going in. <laughs> this guy, I, I'm telling you, there's so much, so much reasonable doubt in this case that it's hard to even pinpoint exactly what's going on. It's hard to pinpoint the, um, even with the age of the young lady. Now, before, you know, you thought that she was, um, she was, uh, uh, 14 but from what I'm understanding the tape was stolen in 2001 so why would it take like I, now I'm just giving you some reason some logical thinking the, the tape was stolen around 2001 right 2000 2001 that's when the state tape was stolen do you think because remember, the tape was supposed to be carry, he carrying the tapes with him all this time, whatever, right? Do you think that he would be carrying a tape that was made like four years ago? Because because they say the tape was made in the late 90s or something like that. Because they say the, the Backstreet Boys are singing in the background, blah, 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 blah. But don't you think the tape would have been made like around the time that they've got the tape? Like in the 2000s? So that would make that girl 17. Guys, you get you get what I'm saying now. You get you understand what I'm saying. So she would have been would have not been underage. She would have been around 17. Did you get what I'm saying by that, right? So she would have been an age of consent, consent, consent age. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. The whole the whole thing is kind of weird. 
I don't know, it's too, too much reasonable doubt in this case. This is definitely a not, a not a slam dunk case for the prosecution. Because their the witnesses are not telling the same story that they told. And um, and it's, it's just blatant. I mean, Bo, Bo tore him up on that stand. There's no credibility in that guy at all. None. That credibility is shot. Credibility is shot, 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 shot. It was extortion all the way, y'all. All the way, extortion. Let me see what y'all saying, hold on. Oh, this is what I want, this is... No, this is Kimmy, this is what I wanted to say. Okay, Kim, Kimmy, let me tell you something. He said that when he went to retrieve the, the tape, right? This is what he said. When he went to retrieve the tape, right? The tape he got had the girl's name and Rob names on the tape, right? So what they did is they went and got, no, well, um, Daryl McDavid's attorney showed him the tape, right? And so he said to him, does this tape have a label on it? He says, no. He says, where's the original tape with the label on it? He says, I don't know. He says, is this? She said, he said that's a copy. Of the, so there's no, y'all, it is so freaking crazy. No, but I'm just saying, Sir Miguel, I'm telling you, it is, no, but I'm just saying, Sir Miguel, I'm telling you, it is so crazy. The whole, this, and he thought it was funny. So Bo asked him, so you think this is funny, huh? Because he's like, he's on the stand laughing. He think it's a joke. This man's life is on, on unhinges and you laughing? It was crazy. What uh, Mr. Kelly? Oh, I'm, I'm outside, so they know I'm outside. I am not in, in nowhere on, on the um, property of the government, so they can't stop me from, from going live. I'm outside, y'all. I am outside. And Mr. Dennis is inside. He's reporting about what's happening. Y'all, it is crazy. I'm just going to tell y'all, it is so crazy. Any questions, guys? It's crazy. It's really, 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 really crazy. Kimmy, I mean, it is, it's, it is, it's so much reasonable doubt in this case. There's no way. It was so many reasons, so many reasonable doubt. About three or four blocks. It's quite a walk. And it's not that bad. It's not that bad. As long as it's not too hot outside, it's not that bad. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. It's it's so much, y'all. Uh, so much reasonable doubts in this case. Yeah, Bonjean is going up next. Um, I'm hoping that she didn't do it yet, cause I just couldn't take him no more, y'all. I could not take him. I could not take him, y'all. He was just too much for me. The lion. Let me tell you how bad it was. He said something, and everybody in the whole, the whole courtroom did a made a loud outburst because we just couldn't believe this guy just lied like that. And and he just lied. I mean, he's a con artist. It was crazy. Y'all, y'all keep praying for Robert. Keep praying because prayer is the key. I'm telling you, it's a difference now that since we've been praying for him, that the truth is coming out. The the snakes, the 
the, the vultures, all of that stuff. Keep praying for him, please. Keep praying. Don't stop. Sylvia, be careful. They are shutting down channels that are reporting on this trial. What do you mean they're shutting down channels? Yeah. Oh, I don't drink. No, I don't drink soda because I. Yeah, I'm good. No, I got. Look, I got my water. <laughs> so you gave up your seat. Yeah, I gave it up. Dennis, um, Dennis took my seat. Yeah. What time is it, y'all? What time is it? Central time. What time is it? So I can get ready to go back in. Rob, he's, he was quiet. You know, we know now that we can't really say anything to him. We can't make any hand gestures or nothing anymore. So he just came in. Um, that was it, 12.22. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Um, I hope I hope they tweeting the truth. I hope they give you guys facts of what's happening in the courtroom. But, you know, transcript will, will tell it all anyway. We got the church in it, but you know, my, my back group, y'all know who it is, who's here. But I can't mention who it is. So I gotta keep that amenity. They making YouTube channel roam where you can't hear them for real? Wow. I know I was having problem when I was near the building, so I'm okay now. Okay, why is this guy videotaping me? Wait a minute, what? Why is this guy videotaping me, y'all? This guy just videotaped me. This dude just videotaped me. When you said that, I looked up. This guy was videotaping me. What the heck is going on? I'm a Gary. Get out of here. He, he walked away. Yo, he just stood in front of me. He was videotaping me. What the heck is this? I walked away when I said this guy's video taking me. Lord have mercy. Gucci, he left. He just walked away. I just happened to look up. When y'all say something about the Roman, I looked up and he's right in front of me videotaping me. He just walked away. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the court because <laughs> the sun feels good out here. No, he's gone. He's gone. His description, he's curly hair. Look like he's mixed. He left.
You know, I'm keeping an eye on my surroundings. Can you sit in the courtroom? Saw Juicy. Yeah, you can sit inside the courtroom. That's where we've been. But you got to get here early in the morning if you want to sit in the courtroom. You got to get here early. Did you get a chance? Get a chance? Get a, an image of him? He um, he's mixed. Had long curly hair. He had on a pair of gray shorts, like sweatpants shorts, and a black top, black t-shirt. He had long curly hair. He looked like he's about uh, six feet, medium built. Yeah, I look. Y'all yeah, stay. Make sure y'all look. Stay looking behind me. I'm looking in front of me. I'm Lisa. I'm not afraid of anything. Trust me. I am not afraid of anything. If something happened, that means it might have meant to be happening. So I'm not gonna sit here and, work and uh, walk in fear. Trust. I'm not walking in fear. Thank you, Fifi, Felicia, Fifi. Tell you something. The um, security is watching inside too, because I told them about the person that took a picture of me, so they're watching. Some type of way. What's the matter? I'm good, Ashley. He had on a pair of sneakers, white. Look like Nike. Trust me, you know, I, I'm just paying attention to my surroundings. You writing it down? He walked down the street. He's gone. All right, I'm about to go back inside now. My break is over with. It feels good out here. Yeah, he's mixed. Curly hair, long curly hair. He might have just been doing, I don't know, he was videotaping me. Yep, sure did. So he stood there long enough for me to see everything I had on. Long curly hair, really curly. He looked like he was mixed. Didn't see his eye color because he's too far to see his eye color. But, um, hey, T. London. 
All right, I'm gonna take note. Okay, I'm gonna take notes. You want me to go upstairs now, Gucci? Um, let me go up there because let me go stand on line because uh, it'll be our turn to go up. Hold on, I'm about to um, end this live. <laughs> no, Lavelle, I am not a celebrity. I am not a celebrity. I am not a celebrity. Hey, LaDiva. I am not a celebrity, y'all. I am a regular Sylvia. Ugh. All right, y'all, I'm about to end this live. I will see you guys later on this evening. Oh, I'm going in back inside now. All right. Uh-huh. All right, guys. Later.